Yeah, my name's Tim Maria. I'm basically a hacker uh, from high school on down, and uh, it's nice to be here. I flew in from uh, Seattle last night, got in around 2.30, and brought a bunch of stuff um, to play with here. And some of the stuff's working, some of the stuff is uh, got cooked on under the light, but hey, you gotta fake it till you make it, and that's what it's all about being a startup, right? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> like literally, you have to get the pull rabbits out of your butt, and, and some of are doing that. Uh, so in the background, uh, started my first car business in a high school doing car stereos out of my mom's garage. Uh, then linked up Sky Pagers so we could hook up satellites to other kids in high schools and set them up with their little virtual businesses and other cut uh, installation labor and uh, blew that up. Uh, worked in a early stage investment space long time in the Northwest, um, creating groups like this and helped actually tie the Northwest get off the ground. And the last time I was in Florida was in Orlando when I was in the golf business helping to build Pro Golf Discount into the world's largest golf e uh, commerce site. So I sold golf equipment worldwide, uh, paying Callaway Titleist. And then a uh, funny thing happened uh, in Beijing, China, I hooked up with uh, IDG uh, and IDG Ventures and then with the demo conference. Demo's been uh, around for a long time, it's the oldest running conference in the world and um, uh, for uh, for launching technology companies and uh, so I, I brought some basically uh, some new things and what I want to get out of today is what you can learn from my experience kind of running these conferences where you're cramming a whole bunch of media really quickly into a short amount of time and how that applies to what's going on with the web today and digital marketing um, so we're going to try something totally, completely new that hasn't been done before. What we have here is basically uh, what's going on in the marketplace right now is, is content has become the forefront of, of how we interact with the web and, and everything. Um, and um, this is a product called Flowboard that lets you make content on your desktop. Or, and, or basically on your iPad. So you're sitting on the plane, and you're you know, sitting here you know, having to put a presentation really quick. So what I'm gonna show you guys today is basically how to set up your own content studio really quick and, uh, and go through some of my experience working with events. So it's basically like PowerPoint, and I can go in here. Uh, but what's cool is I've got this new Leap Motion controller, which basically is like the force, so I can just put my hand over here in and go back and forth. Uh, it's kind of new, so. <laughs> uh, so some. So there's Sunny Boo. So uh, kind of the history is I go into big events and we go in and set up the event with social media channels, with content channels. Uh, with syndication channels and then analytics so we can op optimize and see what's going on. Demo, you pay 20 grand, you get six minutes on stage, the world's presses, there's like 800 people, and then you also go out on IDG's uh, platform, and, and they own PC Magazine, they're the world's largest technology platform uh, for publications and events. E3, they produce that, it's huge. So, um, Basically what I do is first I set up the company's brands and then build out like their internet TV shows, the photography teams and things like that. Every company needs to basically set up your own content channels, your own branded channels. You really got to learn how to do photography now because some of the primary assets of social media and what everybody looks at is great photos. Great photos of him on stage with Scott Case from Startup America. Um, Video content's really big now. Video is about 60% of the internet web traffic right now with Netflix and everything like that. So it used to be all this uh, text, but you're not seeing text when I'm communicating to you right now. You're seeing my face, my voice, and everything. Um, and audio is one of the primary key things, too. So um, some of the other background is I just got done working with the Digital Health Summit at the Consumer Electronics Show. Who's been to CES? Anybody? It's like demos pretty big. CS is ginormous big. <laughs> I think there's 153,000 people there. 20,000 product launches. 
uh, and about 50 football fields worth of stuff, so you physically can't actually walk the show floor without your feet bleeding and falling off. Um, what's really cool with those types of events is, is there's a huge amount of press of people tuning in, and my team basically does the real-time photography, so as the event's going in, we're getting photos in really fast. Uh, and then we're pushing those photos to the press through a dashboard that they can have on their laptop and see what's going on so then they can write a story really quick. And then we go in and track when that story's uh, published in TechCrunch or whatnot. Some of the uh, takeaways learning from this experience is if you're a company, you're pitching and you're making content, you want people to you know, get that, you have to package it right. And um, so I'll go into that a little, a little bit. And you also want to follow up. So I see companies that spend 20 grand to go pitch, and then they're off stage having a cocktail. It's like, hey guys, the party just started. So we'll go on a track, and one of the biggest things I've seen missing with companies is they do all this work up front to get um, their content and stuff dialed in, but they don't follow up on the comments on TechCrunch when, when, when they get published. So all the actions in, in the comments. So here's a video of what we did with Startup America Partnership and Tycon. Do you have audio? It's running a little chunky and slow, but um, so to give you guys an idea of what's happening here is basically we set up a real-time content studio, interview systems, photography stations, or whatnot, and pulled that to Tycon in Silicon Valley in uh, 2011 in about three weeks. Um, the result was basically 80,000 impressions. So uh, basically content's changing really fast right now, and as a company you have to compete against your competitors. So I basically set up a couple demos for you guys. We had John from Rivals IQ. What's going on with the web right now is you can go in and scan the internet and see who on Twitter and, and different social channels is talking about what content that's hot. And a great way to keep ahead is to scan the web and see how you compare with your competitors in this landscape for say all the different keywords and, and things that's going on with your space. This allows you to be part of the conversation that's going out there that's not like sitting on your website. So there's conversations going on about different topics about your business from healthcare issues to um, other topics. Here's my first slide. So this is out of a book from uh, Steve Blank and Bob Dorf. We've, I got at the Start of America event. And it's basically a business model funnel. Um, and my presentation is actually configured kind of for a little bit different size of monitor. But anyway, what you can see here on the left is this is content coming in and how people interact with your brand. And that, that drives people to your website to uh, drive awareness and, um, and then carry people through the funnel. So what I've been working on is basically how do you create a, a web system that lets you monitor what content is being passed around in real time, right now, or what's hot today, and who's passing it around. And then we can go in and get this report and create content on top of that. Um, and then drive people through your website to say a video landing page or something that they can interact with that's um, driving an end result. So what I work with companies right now is basically how do you set up this funnel and this pipeline so you have awareness around what's going around. Say if you're a golf course out here, you have the best golf content. You know what your competitors are making for golf content. You can increase your volume and create better, more rich content they, than they do and therefore win. Uh, what's going on right now is basically called the cartification of the web or these little cards. So you see Pinterest is basically going into little cards. Twitter has, if you open up a Twitter tweet, you can post it up and you can see a tweet, a video or whatnot. So content around the web is no longer just like web pages and things like that. It's really these, these small little bits of content that you can 
um, interact with and it also has conversations wrapped around them. Um, who tweeted it up? Who plus won it on Google Plus? So um, what I'm trying to basically say here is you want to look at content on how it's being consumed right now. Think mobile first, tablet, and then also the big screen. Right now with Google, you can basically go from your tablet and push it to your big screen and have a lean back experience. Uh, you want to look at adding social and search engine optimization. So if I go on plus one, a blog post, or a video, or like this or that, it adds a signal to that, and Google can see that and rank it higher in the results. And you can pull this together uh, and still leverage your email. Um, so, so there's basically, the, when I showed you guys that funnel, you can do social media and content scanning, and, and you have to build content. And video content's a really great way to connect with your customers. You can do it in-house. So in-house, basically, you can make uh, certain styles of video that create a lot of video production. And I basically have created here a quick studio that you can make content uh, rapidly in your office and, and quickly get it out the door. It's all about speed to market if something's, if the subject matter's hot. Right now, uh, what's, what's a hot topic here in Tampa? Healthcare. So healthcare, you know, some miracle cure comes out. If you're the first person to start talking about that and then pull in the right people for your audience, I can do that in this um, type of studio and and create content um, on the fly. So bottom line is basically you got to make content quickly, and um, the web's really moved into visual content and photo content. So what I like to do is take advantage of is creating a small studio for startups so they can make content in-house quickly. And then I set up a bunch of tools that you guys can do that and made a blog post and, what, and have put some instructional things for that. There's different types of content you can make in-house and out-of-house. And with technology right now, it's great. Is your cell phone is basically a micro video production studio so you can use different tools. What I'm going to, basically, what we developed as part of the, this presentation is uh, a landing page with video on it that I want to show you guys. Um, so there's different types of content you can make. And what I like to do is think of how do you do one take live shows or really fast edited shows for, for content versus stuff that you have to sit there and edit forever. Because if you're tying content to news or that's hot now, then you, the people are tuning in, and they're more apt to pass that those links around. So if you eliminate the time to get in content out, um, the quicker the better. So at events, we're basically doing it real time. Then you want to look at basically um, King Five News is always on at five. So you as a company should have a regular flow of content across the week, and then pushed out during the right time of day. Uh, you guys just got off done during lunch and your body's actually going through a different physiological change during lunch, you're a little groggy or whatnot. So I tend to do content about an hour after lunch and people are kind of getting back up um, or catch them at certain time periods when their, physi when their physiology and their mindsets at, 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 at um, they're just doing different things. So at nighttime at about midnight, a lot of people jump back on their iPads and We'll be sitting in bed and kind of cruising trips and things like that. So, so I've got mechanisms to create a content calendar, and you just follow it religiously. The top YouTube channels or whatnot are always putting their Wednesday show out. There's ideas to create like a whiteboard Friday show that always goes out on a Friday. Um, and then the studio I have basically set up here, what you're seeing is a... 55-inch uh, touchscreen here, and then I'm just pulling a laptop in. I've set that up here on, on my desktop here, um, but instead of using that touchscreen, I can just bring in an iPad and different apps, and the apps will show up there in that window on the left, so you can basically have a camera on you and make all kinds of cool content here. Um, and it's pretty slick, and it's fast, and it's real time. Um, once you make your content, you want a lot of what I see fall down is you have descriptions that goes with your content. You see these YouTube videos, and I'll go in and look and try to you know see who made it or link out of it. And a lot of people don't even put the right titles 
or any links or information in with their content that then follows back to that particular part of their web page and offer something that has a direct response. So what you want to do is basically for your companies is you want to create kind of a standardized template that has your information about your company, your links to all your social channels, and any other relevant information. But anyway, what we have right here is, is, is a piece of software called Wirecast. It's a, a, it's a studio basically you can have on your desktop. So what's cool about Wirecast is I can go here and you can create different types of shows, right? So this would basically be a guest and maybe somebody over Skype that I bring here with a lower third of title. This could be just a straight video. So you can set up different types of content shows on your laptop and then um, create different types of videos. What you can do also is live stream and save these videos out, then upload them to YouTube and your different channels. I use a product called Get Little Bird that is basically software that lets you scan the internet. So say you want to come up with topics and you guys are, who here has a business that I could use it as an example? Anybody? Okay, great, I'm selling Cokes. <laughs> so, uh, so say if, I, if I'm selling Cokes, I want to discover people talking about um, soft drinks, or let's use golf as an example. I can go in here and type in basically the keyword golf and um, it, it'll send me um, an email back every day. And it's basically sending me, this is for big data, it's basically sending me a report of who's talking about it, right? So I can follow this guy because he's, or O'Reilly Strata because they're really influential. And then here's a story, so I, could, so I could go in and drill into this story and talk about it in that studio. I could bring in this web page and have my little picture picture window and be talking about the story because the story's hot right now. Um, and then also <laughs> invite Hillary to be part of the show remotely because she's an influencer as well. So this is showing me who are the most influential people and what types of, of content um, is hot. The next thing I do is I basically bring them into the soft studio, record the show, then I'd push it out to my social media channels. I would push it out to Twitter, tweet it up. I would push it out to YouTube, and any, anywhere out, out there that um, I can get um, syndication. Next up, there's a product called Wistia. Uh, Wistia basically lets you um, track your video views. So you want to see what's going on. The bottom line is Wistia basically lets me see how people are following, following your videos. So here's a video we created just yesterday. And I can see the analytics for the video and tell how far people actually go in and view the video and drop out. So every piece of content you can make, you can start to see if you do a bunch of shows over and over that if I make a five minute show, nobody tunes in, so cut that show to three minutes, right? If I do this intro, that's really hot and I grab some attention and, and they view the video. So with, with everything on the web now and all of your um, content, you can see metrics for it. And then you can also see pages that convert. So John and I basically create a video for you guys how you can scan your landscape. And then um, the point of this demo is I was going, I'm trying to show you guys basically how to create your business set this infrastructure up, create a video landing page that converts basically to a new customer, a trial or whatnot, and then how to own the search results using videos, photos, blog posts, uh, and whatnot. So what is here is basically a video landing page that you can set up. I have instructions on my website and it's, it's, it's hosted on a web service that makes it easy to produce your video landing pages. And this is actually using that Wistia player so I can see the analytics for this video um, right here. And then if I'm watching the analytics, I can kind of see uh, 
um, how people are engaging in with it and if it's, if it's converting or not. So it's a very powerful tool. You gotta set your business up for a win in this digital landscape, and that means, what I do is I work with companies to, to capture your brands on your website and both off your website. So basically, learning a lot from how companies are presenting at demo, I go through and see them fall down all the time on a couple things. The first thing is, is if you're gonna start your business up, make sure you protect your brand name. Get that domain web page, and then if you look at the search results search engines, you'll see there's now web services like Pinterest that rank and Facebook that rank. So you want to grab your name slash or Pinterest slash uh, your name or YouTube slash your name so you own all those off-site web properties. Then basically what I do is I take those properties and you brand them so they so if I go from your web page to a uh, YouTube channel, it's branded, it looks good and then you have content there that's also branded, and then you just work on flow and building basically your, um, building a content out and then putting out in all these channels and then tracking those channels. You can track those channels using different tools like Rivals IQ. Rivals IQ lets you set up basically your competitor's name, and it'll go in and look to see where they're at out on the internet, off of their website, Twitter, or whatnot, and then it'll also compare to where you're at so you can see A and B. Then I can see, oh, my competitors got 20 videos per week and I've got two. They're tweeting 400 times a week and I'm doing none. And then you can start to get your levels up at the same level and have a competitive intelligence look at what's going on. Um, in the investor landscape right now, the investors are also looking at what's called your social signal. So if you look at a company called Mattermark, uh, Fred and Danielle in um, the Bay Area setting up, they're looking for press release signals, new followers, job, job hunting posts or whatnot. So your website and all your communications on the web is, is being assimilated. Investors are looking at that. So it's really important to look at your business communications just like a radio or TV show. And what that means is basically create content on a regular schedule push it out to those channels, analyze to see how it's coming in, and then have an end result that you're looking for or the back end of your shopping cart. Are you, are you trying to get new registrations? Are you trying to get a sale, upsell, more people to follow your, your sites and whatnot? Um, and once you get those cycles flowing, then you can speed up the process of, of getting content out there, testing it, and then seeing how it has a result. If you can speed up those cycles and try new stuff quickly, um, then you win because you're just moving faster, quicker, and better uh, than your competitors. And you're also making happier customers. Um, number two thing I see uh, um, companies that could enhance with is putting video everywhere. People don't want to read as much as they used to anymore. It's kind of this, I'm sitting on the bus, and you know, their head's down on the phone. Um, so you can use videos on your signature file and your email. Tell them what you do. It's the best thing to do is to make a three-minute highlight film or a one-minute highlight film and say, what do you do? Oh, here's what I do. Uh, I'll send the link out. We made a free flow board um, that is basically designed for companies so you have your um, pitch deck and everything right on an iPad. So. It basically has all your content for your company, photos, images, your pitch, and how to connect up in a template. You guys can go in and dump your content into it and then have a nice presentation. So when you're in the elevator, you have your elevator pitch and just help structure all that. Uh, number three, it's all about networking and networking with the right people. So you know, what I like to think of as positive brand rift. How much time have we got? Okay. Well, I'll wrap up there. I apologize about you know getting this stuff going. I made a, a web page that has a lot of information. I'd love to sit down with you guys later on and, and show you how some of the stuff works. Um, so have fun at the end of the day. I, the last event I was at, we had um, John Scully, who was a CEO, former CEO of Apple, and uh, the number one he th thing he said that I took home was, if you're not having fun enjoying who you're doing with, then don't do it. So. You know, work and businesses all merge together um, and have fun. 
Um, you can catch me at the Digital Health Summit, the Consumer Electronics Show. Um, I'm super interested in the healthcare space. I'm working on some new technology there. Thank you.